Hi friends, I just got done jumping rope. Have you ever jumped rope before? I love it. Jump, jump, jump. I've loved it since I was a kid. Back then, it was hard for me to learn how to jump rope, but my cousin taught me. So she was young too, and I was young, and we taught each other how to jump. Our Bible story today is about someone who was young and God used in a big way. Do you wanna watch the story with me? Let's go. God, you are the best You don't make mistakes Yeah, you don't make mistakes And when things are a mess You always know the way You always know taught me how to play hopscotch and gave me this hopscotch game to put in the clubhouse. Wanna see? Oh, wait. It helps if you pretend to be a bunny. They're the best at hopping. Here I go, count with me. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now it's time to turn around and go back. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Watch this. Four, three, two, one. This is fun, but it would be more fun if my friends were here. But my uncle isn't here to teach them how to play. Ho! Ho! Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Ho! Ho! Playing all by yourself, are you? Yes, I am, Ollie. 
my uncle isn't here to teach my friends how to play. Uncles are good teachers, it's true. But young people can be teachers too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> hey guys, I'm Aisha and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Want to see my latest creation? Ta-da! <laughs> they are my mini cupcakes because good things come in small packages. Which reminds me of today's story. If you're ready for the story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible is about a king. Now, when I think of kings, I think of someone older and wiser, someone who can lead the people. But the king in today's story was a kid. Yep, King Josiah was only a kid. Now, think about what most kids are doing, like eating ice cream or playing with blocks or kicking a soccer ball. But this kid was actually the king, which meant he had a lot of people to lead. King Josiah wanted to do what was right. He wanted to show the people how to go God's way. One day, his workers found a very special book. Do you know what it said? That God's way is perfect. <laughs> that God loves us and knows what's best for us. So right then and there, King Josiah jump, jumped <laughs> and went God's way. And then he called all the people and told them that God's way is perfect. God loves you and God knows what's best for you. So jump, jump and go God's way, everyone. Wow, isn't that amazing? Even when King Josiah was a kid, he told others about God's way. Now, here's a question. Do you think you as a kid could also tell others about God's way? Of course you can. There are lots of ways to do it. You can tell a friend, hey, God's way is perfect. Or you could show them every day when you go God's way. They'll see what God's way is like when they watch you sharing and helping others. No matter if you're young or old, you can go God's way and tell others about it because God's way is perfect. <laughs> did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <gasps> hey there, Ollie, tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Josiah taught others about God's way, and so can you. Who? Who? Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, Josiah became a king when he was a kid, and he taught others to follow God's way, because God's way is perfect. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did say got it, get it? Got it! Good! I can tell others that God's way is perfect, and I can teach my friends how to play hopscotch. I'll see you guys next time. I think I'm gonna play some more. God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel 22, 31. God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel 22, 31.
Bible story today was about a young king named Josiah. Did you know Josiah is my son's name too? King Josiah did a very brave thing. Even though he was young, he had everyone in his kingdom and he told them to go God's way. And it's a good thing because God's way is perfect. Our Bible verse we've been learning says, God's way is perfect, 2 Samuel 22, 31. How perfect is that? Let's do the verse together with the motions. Are you ready? God's way is perfect, 2 Samuel 22, 31. We can tell others to go God's way just like King Josiah did because God's way is perfect. Whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. Can you say it a little louder? Whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. I'm gonna pray now and thank God for being trustworthy and just helping us to do the things we need to do. Dear God, thank you for King Josiah and thank you that he went your way, God. Help us to do things the way you want them done, with, God, because your way is perfect. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye friends, see you next week.